Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Um, this is uh, the start of a new build, and no, it's not the Bridgeport here. That might come somewhere down the road yet. But uh, I'm starting a, a refit of a Phoenix Technologies 4x4 CNC router. Um, it's not here at the house, it's off site, it's at the customer shop. It's Insane Asylum Motorsports here in Mesa, Arizona. They've had it for about two and a half years. Um, he bought it, and he's never been able to get it to go. Um, it had uh, a bad motor on an axis with a bad encoder on it. A couple of technicians have tried to get it going and failed. And then uh, he heard about me and he called me over there. And, uh, you know, I thought I could probably fix it, but it's still an outdated control. And uh, suggest that we put a more modern control on it using a newer PC, Windows 10. Gives him the ability to network the computer, you know, use a thumb drive uh, to get his G-code programs into it and so forth and to have some newer motors on it. So uh, he decided to go that route. And uh, here's a picture of the router before uh, the conversion. It's, uh, it's a quite heavy machine. Uh, you see it's got quite a bit of structure. It also has very heavy linear rails. It's got ball screws on it. It was originally a DC brush servo machine. It's a good example of what you might find out there that's purpose CNC built. It's a great foundation to start a retrofit project on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it with a new Acorn motion controller and I'm removing the DC brush servos and I'm putting DMM Technologies DYN4 servo drives on it and their 750 watt NEMA 34 AC servos on it. So uh, it should be, you know, a quite healthy machine. Uh, they do a lot of fiberglass work and mold making and, you know, cutting out parts and so forth. So um, Scott's looking forward to getting that machine up and running and uh, making it productive and shave some time down from making their current parts. Scott is the owner of Insane Asylum Motorsports. He tells me that he's been doing everything with a pin router and patterns, so it's been very labor intensive and time consuming. So this is a perfect application for the CNC router. So um, I'm going to take you over to uh, the uh, back panel in the cabinet. Again, I'm building the back panel here. I'm putting all the, the electronics on it. I'll be bench testing the motors here, pre-configuring everything here, and then I'll be taking it out to the site. I'm not sure that I'll be able to do much video there. I might take my camera and do some uh, handheld work to kind of give you an idea of what's going on there. Uh, if not, I'll take a bunch of pictures and then I'll do a narrative video on uh, what's been done. So let's go handheld and I'll walk you over to uh, the back panel that, uh, I've got going now and the uh, the control cabinet. Okay we'll start off with the original control cabinet. Um, here it is after I've uh, you'll see right here on the side there's a big slot. Well the original servo drive had a huge heat sink and it it, it was like a cartridge it would when it went in here and it bolted to the side. So I filled that slot with a piece of uh, heavy gauge sheet metal and then uh, I had to straighten out the hinge on that door. It had been banged around probably from being moved. Put a couple of rivets in the hinge and uh, I've got some holes to fill in the back of it and also got a slot to cut in the bottom for uh, strain relief. Um, here's a picture of what this cabinet looked like before with the old control. Okay, here's the back panel. Uh, here's a couple of shots of the uh, back panel before I put the components on it, uh, fitting it up to the cabinet. And then uh, what we have here is the three axis worth of DIN4 servo drives. This is a remote contactor. There's going to be a switch at the front of the machine to turn the main power on and it'll close this contactor and uh, feed the power to the to the machine. Here's the Acorn Step and Direction Motion Controller. These are two 30 amp relays. This one's going to be used for the router motor and this one's going to be used for the uh, dust collection system. So uh, this is just a protective skin that comes off. It's an aluminum plate that I had uh, punched out at my local metal shop. So that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to start wiring up this back panel and uh, getting things configured. Uh, I'll see you on the next update of the Phoenix 4x4 CNC router.